Hey, so I wanted to make kind of a perhaps boring video for most people, but I wanted to just talk about um, pencils. So I love pencils, but only when they're really good mechanical pencils. Um, when it comes to like like wooden pencils, I just don't like the hassle of having to sharpen it and then it's dull. And then you write with it when it's dull for a while, and then you have to, or you have to sharpen it all the time. It's just not very, not very conducive to doing a lot of work with pencil. So as a mathematician, you know, I have, well, calling myself a mathematician is kind of pretentious because I'm still an undergraduate. But um, here's like some linear algebra. I'm taking like 300 level linear algebra right now. Um, so we got like some proofs back here of like properties of matrices and stuff um i use i write all the time like i have this notebook in one month i've already filled it and this is just for one class i filled this much paper so when you write that much you need some kind of good writing implement so first of all using a pencil right so here's a pen in fact, if you notice, the notes I've been looking at here have been written in pen. So, I like pen because it teaches you to not make mistakes. It teaches you to be very deliberate and considerate of what you write down. And it just kind of tricks your brain into making less mistakes. So, it can actually help every once in a while to use a pen to do something really complicated, like math. Just so you build up that skill and that like ability to write clearly the first time. So I do like pen, and in fact, I took my discrete math class, um, I think it was a couple semesters ago. I took that class, like, exclusively in pen. I even took the tests in pen. I mean, they were take-home tests, but I use pen. So um, I want to recommend, like, some different writing implements that I like. So you notice that I've been holding a Sharpie S gel. Now, these are by far my favorite pen that you can easily get. So when I say that, I mean, that this is the best pen that you can just walk into a target or a Walmart and just buy off the shelf. They're sold everywhere. Um, or you can get it on Amazon for, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive either. I would say it's about, it's a, it's a good price for a Sharpie, like a Sharpie pen. Um, it writes like this. I wrote this in this pen. So, it doesn't, it doesn't look like a Sharpie, obviously. It looks like a pen. And it, it, but it feels slightly different when you're writing with it. I mean, let me flip to a page here. Let me just think about this. Yeah, it's like rolly. It's like a ballpoint, you know. It's very smooth glide. Notice in all of that, it was very consistent in its writing. Like, you can definitely clearly make out that line. So, this pen is pretty good. Um, you notice that I'm using, if you're very diligent, actually, where is it on here? Aha. Uh -huh. You'll notice that this is 0.7. I actually don't use 0.7. Um, I just like the white. So I took a 0.5 and I actually took the ink out of it, of just the black Sharpie S gel 0.5. And I just put it in this one because it's the same shell. And I, I prefer the 0.5 because you can get these nice, sharp, clear crystal perfectly understandable lines and it doesn't take so much it takes less space when you're writing too so if you're writing like a long equation you don't get like stuck in the margin i just like the white so that would be my suggestion for a pen now when i said you can easily get i mean that i've tried other pens in the past that i like more like um i might have one over here i do not believe so pens like this just just don't buy them in fact this one i think i'm just about to Throw in the garbage. So, um, I actually have a pen that I got from my dentist. And my that is actually my favorite pen I've ever used. It's a big bit bigger of a pen. I like something smoother and smaller. Which is actually why I like these even more than that. But we'll get to that. Um, so, it, I, I don't like it for that reason. But the ink was perfect. It lasted forever. And it never clogged up. It never got stuck. And then, of course, I go to the same dentist and get a pen, like, six months later when I get my next cleaning, and it fucking sucks. So, I did I get the God Pen? I don't know. Now, I did actually have the God Pencil, and it's not one of these. 
Uh, if you go into like a normal store today and you pick up one of the Papermate pencil, like pencils, mechanical pencils, they look almost exactly the same as the pencils, the Papermate pencil I had, but mine was from like 10 or 12 years ago. And for some reason, that was a 0.5 pencil where the lead never broke. I swear to God, there was never a time that I was writing and it broke. It was only like, like it would just run out. Like I, it just never broke. So that's the one thing about mechanical pencils is sometimes you'll be writing and it'll just snap. I can't even do it on command. And then you'll have to like push it and like keep hitting the button to get it out and then like readjust it. So that pencil, it drew perfectly. I love 0.5. It was awesome. But unfortunately, I left it at my friend's house. Actually, I loaned it to him so he could do some math with me. And then he, uh, it's gone now. So, I have been searching for a pencil to replace it, and I happened to go into CVS, and I got these Bic Echolutions, which are, I bought them because they're made out of recycled plastic, and I figured with how much plastic, as it, just as one person I've thrown away in the earth, like I've dumped into landfills, I might as well get something made out of recycled plastic, you know? So I got this, and it was a little bit more expensive. But, first of all, it comes with lead. I love when mechanical pencils come with significant lead. Like, each one had, like, three sticks in it. Like, I didn't really fill any of these. Um, and the pencils write perfectly. These are the .7 equivalent of the pencils that... Uh, there we go. These are, like, the .7 equivalent of that pencil. And by Bic, obviously. Now... I do love these pencils, so if I if you're gonna get a pencil, ignore the fact that I break these because I have a problem. Um, if you want a pencil, if you're a mathematician and you want a pencil where you can erase, so you don't have wrong notes in your book, you don't want to cross out a bunch of shit if you're like working on something challenging, this is really the way to go. So this is my suggestion for a pencil. This is my suggestion for a pen, unless you have a better one. If you have a better one, then just stick with it. If you have a, if you love a pen, I'm not gonna change your mind with the off-the-shelf Sharpie S gel, you know. But like this thing, like it's very consistent, it's very good, it's effective, it looks great. I love it. So yeah, that's my uh, seven and a half minute rant about pencils and pens.